fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. You talked to Marshal Beatson, Kimasami? Yes, Donald. There's been another holdup this time, near the town of Greasewood. That makes six in one month. We go to Greasewood? No, I think we'd better head for Mesa Junction. But there are no holdups near Mesa Junction. That's right, Tonto. But every stage has been robbed, either has been on its way to Mesa Junction, or had passed through it. Uh, you think maybe bandits have headquarters there? That I don't know. I suspect someone in town is giving them information. Uh, bandits only rob stages with valuable cargo. Beatson says they've avoided every trap he's set for them. Uh, them plenty clever. They're clever, all right. We've got to stop them before they bankrupt every business in this territory. Let's get mounted. Morning, Julie. Good morning, Sheriff. Here, let me help you with your things. I can manage, thank you. Julie, uh, I'm sorry about last night. I. I didn't mean those things I said. Didn't you? I was angry because you, you broke our date and... Well, when I found out you were having dinner with Doug Stewart, I, I... You jumped to conclusions. And you thought I was interested in Mr. Stewart. Because he's a banker and the richest man in town. I didn't say that, Julie. But you thought it. No, I didn't. Well, for your information, I've been commissioned to paint his portrait. No fooling. Yes. Gosh, I... I must have sounded like a... Like an idiot. Well, is this uh, a confession or an apology? Both, I guess. Are you still angry with me? <laughs> I guess I'm too happy to be angry with anybody this morning. This portrait means I'll earn enough money that I can go on with my tour. You mean you're leaving Mesa Junction? Well, I've been here a month already. And, Will, I want to paint this whole wonderful west for all the world to see. Say, I'd better be getting on my horse and get out to Scorpion Rock before the light fails. Let me go with you. Now, I've told you a dozen times, I can't paint when somebody's watching me. I wouldn't be in the way. Yes, you will. I'll be back by lunch and I'll see you then. You mean you'll have lunch with me? Well, I just advised myself in that. You're late. I couldn't make it earlier, Hack, but I've got news. Another gold shipment? Better than that. I had dinner with a town banker last night. He lets slip they're expecting a money shipment today, and there won't even be a guard on the stage. Yeah, great. A couple more jobs like the last two, and we'll be set for life. This is the last job we'll pull around here. Something go wrong? I just don't like to crowd my luck, that's all. Heck, Julie, what are you worried about? You got Sheriff Harrington eating out of your hand. There's lots of sheriffs, and lots of towns. We'll lie low a week, and then we'll move on. Well, what about the gold and stuff we've hidden here on Blue Mountain? We'll divide it before we leave. You better get going. The stage goes through Summit Pass in about 15 minutes. When will we see you? I'll be at the hideout later this week. If anything goes wrong this morning, I'll be at Scorpion Rock, about five miles east of here. They had a schedule. We can overtake him. Come on. Shoot, don't shoot. I, I've stopped. Take the passengers. I haven't got any passengers. Then toss down that strong box and be quick about it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now come on down yourself. Oh, oh, what are you what are you gonna do to me? Just do what I say. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, oh boy. Now turn around. Listen, you. You ain't got no call to do anything to I me. Said I gave you all of this.
candy from a kid. Only this stuff's a lot sweeter than candy. Ask you the same thing. Well, uh, I, th I think they slugged me, because I will... Uh, well, you're too late, mister. Them other road agents took the money. We not outlaws. Well, he's wearing a mask. That doesn't mean I'm an outlaw. Suppose you tell us what happened. As if you didn't know. Them two masked pals of yours held me up in Summit Pass, and they, they took the money shipment. Uh, Summit Pass only a few miles back, you must have me. You think you can drive the stagecoach into town? I guess so. All right. We'll backtrack you and try to pick up the outlaw's trail. You mean you're going after him? Yes. Tell the sheriff in Mesa Junction. We'll get in touch with him later. Adios. <laughs> this looks like the place, Tom. One of the horses lost a shoe. Uh, then dragged something heavy back that way. Let's take a look. Empty, of course. And box that big whole lot of money. Let's try to catch up with them. Look, Kimisabi. Real paint picture. Maybe she saw the outlaws. From here you can see the whole valley. We ask? Right. Stay where you are. Don't let my mask alarm you. We're not bandits. I don't care who you are. Don't come any closer. We only want to ask a question. Well, what is it? Two men robbed the stage about an hour ago. Not again. Uh, we lost their trail at the river. I thought perhaps you might have seen them. No, no, I haven't seen anybody at all. Have you been here at Scorpion Rock all morning, miss? Since 8 o'clock. I have to be early because the afternoon light flattens the shadows. And you came directly from town? Yes, why? But your horse has... Oh, that's all right, Tano. Thank you very much, miss... Uh... Gregory. Julia Gregory. Perhaps we'll meet again. Adios. Truth. Her not come direct from Mesa Junction. I know, Tonto, but I didn't want to put her on her guard. Her horse have black mud on feet, only red clay between here and town. We'll pick up her trail, backtrack, and then find out where she's been. Let's go. these footprints. She met two men up here on Blue Mountain, then double back to Scorpion Rock. Kimisame, that horse have one shoe missing. Prints like ones we find at home. I think I know now how the outlaws get their information about the gold shipments. A uh, girl painter, tell him. Yes, tell him. I'll go talk to the sheriff. We'll take the back way so we won't attract attention. Talk to 
you. Say, aren't you the man that stopped the runaway stage? That's right. Did the driver give you my message? Sure, but I thought it was loco. Masked men don't usually operate on my side of the law. My friend and I followed the bandits' trail to the river, but we lost their tracks. Yeah. Same old story. I sent a posse out after him, but... Well, this outfit's too smart. Well, they weren't smart this time. Tell me, do you know a girl named Julie Gregory? Did anything happen to Julie? Uh, she's all right. Every time she goes out alone to paint, I, I worry myself sick. Does she go out often? Almost every day. She's making a tour of the West, painting scenery and stuff like that. You know Miss Gregory quite well, don't you? I do. As a matter of fact, if I get up enough nerve, I'm going to ask her to marry me. I see. That rather complicates matters. What do you mean? Well, Sheriff, I don't know how to tell you this, but... What is it? Well, I have reasons to believe Miss Gregory is mixed up with the crooks who've been pulling these holdups. You're out of your mind. I suspected you'd think so. She went to Blue Mountain this morning and... This she morning. went to Scorpion Rock. Yes, but first she met two men on Blue Mountain. The same two men who robbed the stagecoach. Don't try to tell me that Julie's mixed up in anything crooked. Well, Sheriff, I understand how you feel. Get out! Get out before I forget I'm an officer of the law. All right. I hoped we could have worked together. You see Sheriff came with me? Yes, Tonto. He's so much in love with Julie Gregory that he wouldn't listen to me. A man in love only hear what he want to hear. Somehow we have to make that woman give herself away and implicate the men she's working with. We try fake gold shipment, maybe? No, we'll need the sheriff's cooperation to do that. That'd be hard to do. Suppose we try to frighten her into doing something foolish. Uh, what do you want me to do? I want you to find the stagecoach driver. Get a complete description of the bandits. But them wear masks. Yes, but find out what kind of clothes they were wearing. Anything that he can remember. Then buy me some old clothes. I'm going to put on a disguise. Ah. There she is, Tonto. Wait for me in the trees where I change clothes. You be careful, Kimisemi. Julie. Yes. I've got to see you. Well, what on earth's the matter? Are you in any kind of trouble? Oh, well, not that I know of. Please, Julie, you can tell me. But I don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying to tell you I'm in love with you. I want you to marry me. Well, really, Will, this is hardly the time or place to discuss such things. But, Julie. Oh. <laughs> uh, beg pardon, young lady. Why don't you look where you're going? I'm sorry, miss. Hope I didn't hurt you. I'm quite all right. Say, aren't you the young lady I saw up on Blue Mountain this morning? Blue Mountain? I'm afraid you have me mistaken with somebody else. No, sirree. I would forget a pretty face as yours. I saw you up there talking to two men. I'm afraid you've made a mistake. <laughs> no, ma'am. With these store-bought specs, I can see a mosquito for 400 yards. I saw you all righty. You were talking to two men. And the big one was wearing a black and red shirt. And the other one... Uh, Will, for heaven's sake. Look, old-timer, the lady says she wasn't on Blue Mountain, so let's not argue about it. Suppose you just run along and tend to your own business. You mean you want me to leave? That's the general idea. Well, then why didn't you say so? Nothing I hate worse than a man that beats around the bush and don't say what he means. Thanks. Wait a minute. Well, what is it? Julie, you're hiding something. Don't be absurd. Just because some crazy old man to the... He's the second person to claim that you met two men on Blue Mountain this morning. Somebody else as he saw me? Yes. Well, it must be another girl that looks like me, because I was at Scorpion Rock all morning. Look, Julie, if it's a case of mistaken identity, we ought to clear it up. You see, those two men on Blue Mountain may be the two men that held up the stage. <sighs> really, Will? I just don't understand you. One minute you tell me you love me, and, and the next minute you accuse me of... I'm not accusing you of anything. What's the matter? My watch. It's gone. Were you wearing it? Well, I had it on this morning. I could have lost it, but... That old man. I'll bet he took it when he pretended to bump into me. Why, that old scoundrel. I'll bet that's what he did. Wait here. How things go? 
Oh, Kimisami. Fine. I have a hunch Miss Gregory will be leaving town in a very few minutes. Yeah, her horse tied behind hotel. Now, you'd better keep an eye on it. While I'm removing this disguise and putting on my clothes, we'll... Get your hands up. Go on, raise your hands. You're under arrest. Uh, what first, Sheriff? For stealing that lady's watch. Huh. I didn't steal anybody's watch. Him not thief. Uh, that right. I happen to think different. You two are going to jail. To jail? Well, that's a fine kettle of fish. It just isn't right when a citizen around here has to be accused of taking foot. You're not make noise. Good work, Tunnel. Get a rope and we'll tie him. Your voice, you're... You're not an old man. That's right, Sheriff. I had to resort to trickery. The masked man. Here, rope and gang. Good. All right, Sheriff, turn around. Sorry, Sheriff, but if I turn you loose, you'll ruin our whole plan. Well, I finish tying him and remove my disguise. You keep an eye on Miss Gregory. Let me do that. If she leaves before I join you, follow her and leave a mark at the crossroads. Ah. gun with your fingertips and let it drop. Now, right up the trail ahead of me and don't try anything. Julie, what's the idea? Oh, we've got to get out of here. What happened? I was seen talking to you this morning and Harrington's getting suspicious. Who's the engine? I don't know. He was following me. I ran into him earlier riding with a masked man. A masked man? Wait a minute. Is your name Tato? What difference does it make? It might make plenty. Was this masked man riding a big white stallion? Yes, why? Then he must have been the Lone Ranger. Huh? We've got to get out of here fast. Get rid of those horses, then stand guard on the trail while Julie and I load the stuff. All right, but hurry it up, huh? Go on. Open the box and load the saddlebags. All right. Thanks, Julie. He's out cold. Maybe we ought to tie him up. There's not enough time. Lock him in the closet. You're covered. Now get inside. Look what I've got. The masked man. Yeah, he walked right into it. Well, now this is real cozy. What have you done to my friend? You mean the engine? If you've harmed him. Don't worry, we've taken care of him. And now we're going to take care of you. What do you intend to do with him? There's only one thing we can do. We'll have to kill him. No. Pack's right, Julie. Are you willing to add murder to your list of crimes? Well, I guess we have no other choice. Go ahead. This is going to be a pleasure. Nice going, Tom. The 
soon as we tie you, we're taking you to the sheriff. Give me a gun. You, get up. Stand beside girl. Now let Julie make such a complete fool out of me. I even thought I was in love with her. Don't take it so hard, Will. Oh, you got back all the money they stole, and she and her two pals are in jail. Woman with pretty face and evil heart always make trouble. That's right. Next time you fall for a gal, son, be careful. <laughs> there isn't going to be any next time. The last man I heard say that was happily married within two months. Come on, Tato. Adios. A masked man on the side of the law. I still don't get it. I didn't understand it either, till the Indian told me. You mean you know who he is? Yes, Hutch. We've been face to face with a legend. He's the Lone Ranger. Hello. Hello.